Let's move on to checkboxes. A checkbox allows a user to pick one or more predefined choices. A common example is a checkbox group that allows users to pick options for an event registration. To add in a checkbox, you go up to the checkbox tool and you drag and drop a checkbox onto your PDF document. The next step is to give that checkbox a name. And for our example, the name we're going to type in is event1. Now, for the export value, I'm going to leave this defaulted to yes. This means if somebody checks that box, event1, when that data gets submitted to the database, you're going to end up with a field in your database called event1, and if somebody checked it, it's going to say yes. Let me add in some checkboxes for the other events. So I'll make sure that the checkbox is selected. I'll drop another checkbox in. And here I'll type event2. And just to double check, our export value is yes. And now we'll go add another checkbox in here. And for that checkbox, we'll call that event3. And the export value is yes. Now, something that might help you here with the formatting of these checkboxes, let me close this box down, is if you grab on to the arrow tool and you highlight these three checkboxes, and you put your mouse over the checkbox that has the correct dimensions that you like and you right mouse click, you can go over here to size and it gives you size height, width, and both. And it might be a little bit hard to see here unless I scroll this up. Let me do it again. I'll select all the three of those. I'll right mouse click. I'll go to size and I say height width or both, I'll select both. And what that's going to do is that's going to make those checkboxes the exact same dimensions. Now, I also notice that they're a little bit out of alignment. And so maybe what I might want to do is right mouse click and I'll go to align and I'll say align to the right. And what it'll do is line them all up to the right. Now, when I click on the hand tool, I can see I have three different checkboxes.